Uh, so we got some feedback um, on the video. A little, it was a little far away. I should have probably put a second camera on the uh, actual cards themselves, but I was trying to get the scrapbook. Anyways, wanted to get some detail of the cards. Um, I'm going to give some of these away. I'm not sure exactly what the subscri subscriber uh, number should be, but I'm definitely going to give some of these away. Um, and also, I'm going to give some stuff away. from. I have a 75 tops pack and a 78 tops pack. Uh, so what I was thinking of doing is just like, do a, a break, a group break, but like just give them away. You don't have to buy the spots. Um, so um, I, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that. Maybe on like the 800th or 1,000th subscriber or, or something. But um, I don't need to sell. I, I'd rather just give them away. I think that'd be fun. Anyways, we can talk about that. Let's take a look at uh, Mr. B Is this Babe Herman? I thought it was, um, but I think I might be wrong. And I, I'm not going to be able to look it up on the... Uh, on the phone here because I'm taping on the phone this time. But um, anyways, we're taking a nice close in look. You can't really see what I showed in the other video. You, when you do a really close in look, you can't really see any um, dot matrix stuff. Anyways, there's nothing on the back of this one. Um, but I will say this, there's an interesting, the borders are not, are off. Another thing to look, well, these ones don't have the Gaudi on the bottom. They don't have the, um, some of them have the like Gaudi, some of them have the, they're different sets of Gehrig's on the bottom. But anyways, my point is the borders are way off on these, way off bound Ben Chapman. There's the back again, torn the F off. I really like this card, the Gehringer card. Like, I just like these Gary cards. They're so cool. Like it looks like a, like an old Batman comic in the back, you know, like he's like throwing, but instead of saying pow, it's like, anyways, you get the idea. Again, not much of a back on here, but the back that needs, that's there, looks pretty good. There doesn't appear to be like any of the like, you know, sometimes there's like, oh, there's like a special worn section where, the reprint might be. I think the reprint's usually right there, that, but I did, I did a zoom in on that. I didn't see anything underneath that. Um, this is another cool card. Again, you can see the overprint here. See that? See that red coming through? So on the original card, there was the red coming through. So that's a good sign. Uh, Mancuso, again, back looks right a little light um but if they're in a scrapbook you can see the faint glimmer of a red overprint on the bottom down here you see right through there started a professional career in texas after starring in city league in houston we to St. Louis, uh, to st louis card traded to st louis cardinals in 1928 didn't win a regular place until 1930. 284 went to the Giants. Of course, New York took the good catcher. All right. Vernon Gomez. Vern. Remember that? Ernest. See, this is the other thing I noticed too. It kind of looks 3D. Like the, the way that these, you know, those, those 48 leaves, I talked about this in the video, but they kind of look 3D. It's a strange thing where like they color printed them or like printed in different layers. I don't know. I can't really tell. The problem is I got to go to a card store. There's another overprint, the red on the bottom there. Um, I can't really tell. Uh, oops. I think I ditched Lloyd Wayner by accident. That's Lloyd Wayner with a little rip on his top. Red overprint underneath. This is the back of Gomez. Can't really see anything there. Here you can see he actually had them taped to something else. I don't even know what it was, but Lefty Grove. Don't want not too many pictures in this uh, party of Hall of Famers in the '30s here. There's so many, there was such a hitters league in the thirties. Man, there were so many hall of famers in this set. It's like 280, think about that. There's like 280 players. I mean, there's some from other eras, right? I think like, um, who's in this? Is there like a, I wanna say like Joe Jackson? Oh, that's play ball. 
there's some guys that are maybe a little outside their era in here, but like, th th there's so many Hall of Famers in this one, and it's 280 cards. If you think about that, there's probably, I don't even know, there's got to be 30 or 40 Hall of Famers in this set out of 280, which is like, you know, you're talking 15% of the, of the players are Hall of Famers, which is not how it is today. Um, you got a little something on lefty. What do you got last year and before and that? I wonder what he did last year. Must have been pretty cool. Um, anyways, so lefty looks all right. Color's good. Borders look pretty nice. I mean, they're pretty even. Um, oh, this is one thing they talked about looking at, which was like, are the is the 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 big league logo offset from the? Um, it's a little bit there. You can't really see on the other side. Is the big league logo offset from the borders? This is Paul Weiner, another Hall of Famer. These borders are way off, but I wanted to find one where it um, where it is, and you can see what they're talking about. Okay, here is a perfect example. And QSO. So you have the big leagues up and to the right. That's because they're printing everything in different. And you can kind of see like the printing is like a, this is what I was talking about with that 3D view. So I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe I'm 60, 40 real fake on these because I mean, at the very least, this one is got, I mean, this would be the most artful Gusman Cuso reprint of all time. And I have no idea. The stamp is over and completely stamped without any of the printing striations the, these are there's no ink matrix this is offset these are off uh, shape uh off type here the overprinting on the back i mean the whole thing i mean this would be absurd if this was a fake this would take more than just buying a new gus mancuso so the real question then is are these like laid in there to look like these and the thing is they don't they look the same they look exactly the same this is a little offset too. You can kind of see here, the the the, the big league the the thing the red uh, the big league boy. Wow, what a tongue twister. The big league chewing gum red isn't quite. It's a little bit off down there. It's also not even like it does not an even border here. You can see it's thinner here than it is here. Um, this one, I, the babe and the the babe and the and the and the um, Gary are nice looking car. Or Gary's nice looking. The babe is no isn't backless, so it's not really. This one looks a little bit maybe to the left. I don't know. It's like there's something. I gotta take this out and look at it. All right, we're gonna take it out and look at it. Oh, it's so fragile. Oh my god. All right, let's take a look. So. Yeah, see, it's separated. It's kind of separate. Like, it's not off necessarily left to right, but it's bumped down a little bit in a way that the other one... Yeah, this one isn't. So the Gehrig isn't bumped down. The Gehrig's off, too. Yeah, you can see. It's off, for sure. I don't know. I'm still just, I just don't believe that these were just sitting in the scrapbook. I don't know why. I just can't, but I don't know, man. And that, and that logo for sure was stamped on. It was not printed. Stamped on all of them. I don't know. A tough call. These are really good fakes if they're fakes. They're good fakes. They got a good story and everything. And the person that's selling them didn't even know they were fake. So anyways... I'm gonna give you guys one last deep look at the Gehrig because it's a little more substantial. Here's a deep, long look at the front. And a deep, long look at the back. And you can see again, I'll point out the overprinting right there. And the unusually white back, which may be because it's an artful fake and it may be because Uh, it's real, and it was in the scrapbook. So here's the other Babe Ruth, your other big card in here, the Babe Ruth. Uh, which I believe is the 144. But you wouldn't know it because there's no back on it. So that is the way that goes. 
I mean, being able to see his picture through this isn't really mean anything because it's so thin. But uh, still, pretty neat. <laughs> you can see the babe through the back. Hey. Hey, babe. Anyways, I don't even know if they'll grade something like that, to be honest with you. I have no experience in grading the front half of a card. <laughs> but if there's one card that's worth doing it on, it's this one. Or there's a few, but this is one of them. Maybe the... Oh, God. Maybe the... Well, I don't know what else. The Mantle 52. People would grade the front half of that, I guess. Last but not least, you got Zimmerman, the T206. This one is definitely real. I can just tell by the way it feels. The flappy old cardstock. Sovereign back. Zimmerman on the front. Nice color. Pretty uh, off grade. Pretty. But I like it. I don't know. I like these cards. Always have. All right. So, Gehrig, Ruth. Are they real? Subscribe and win a graded Gaudi card. We'll talk about how.